What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach and today we are showing off a pretty funny video that I'm sure you guys saw in the thumbnail, but we faced off against my brother-in-law uh, just the other day. So I recorded the most of the video, but not right away because I wasn't recording. I was just having fun playing, but um, yeah, it was a really funny video and it's going to be at the end of this video. It's going to be the third game um, running this deck that I'm using right now. And this deck it has been working pretty well. Um, I still lose almost every time to Shaman. I, I run into Shaman all the time. I lose to it all the time. But uh, I've actually pushed up the ladder with this deck up to a new trophy high just the other day and have thus lost like 200 trophies. But some of that is because of the last video to where I used the subscriber decks and, uh, and lost some of the games. I'm not blaming you guys, but I'm telling you the truth as to why my trophy high is... Is I'm still I'm not still at my trophy high, but it's a pretty funny deck. Um, it's got all my core elements that I usually have, except for this one it has um, both stun and freeze in it, and uh, and it works pretty well. So vampire, bombardier, cold mage, uh, boreas, and chemist. So it's a pretty good deck, and the whole pre uh, the whole idea behind it is you basically just wait out your opponent. And at a certain point, they can't hold on any longer, and then you just kind of sneak a victory at the end. So that's how it should work. Not saying that it always does work. Everybody up here can play. Everyone has a good deck. Um, so hopefully we can we can sneak some wins. And the fact that we're not playing against Shaman right now is definitely a good omen. And we have a good, a decent start in uh, in the game right now. So hopefully we can hold on. Oh, there's, I'm trying to X out of comments here. There's comments popping up all over the place. No. But here we go, we already got our Vampire right there to rank 7, so we're in a pretty good spot with that. And then we can just start combining out rank, rank 1 units um, and see what we can do. This guy's running a Frost deck with Vampire, um, and then he's got the Chemist, Boreas, and uh, I, don't, I don't know who that last character is. Is that Plague Doctor? He might have Plague Doctor in there. But definitely a pretty cool deck. I'm going to level everybody up who does my slow and stun. And then we're going to see what we can do. We're going up against the Warlock next. And hopefully we can take him out. I'm going to combine Bombardiers, then Vampires. We got another Vampire, another Vampire, another Bombardier. And uh, we'll keep on filling the board. I still want to use the Dryad and even the Summoner in a, in a few decks. Because they're just so, such fun cards to play. But uh, as of right now, this is probably my best deck. And, uh, and it works pretty well. So at this point, I'm going to just try and level everybody up. We got Boreas leveling up right there. I'm going to do my Cold Mage next. And then I'm going to do my Chemist just to get that extra damage in there. And hopefully we can hold on. So he's kind of doing a similar tactic with Frost, trying to slow everybody down. But hopefully with my Stun, I can slow people down even more. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So the only thing we don't have, we have two rank uh, one chemists i'm actually gonna i'm gonna wait for a little while here and i'm gonna combine out my vampires which maybe you guys wouldn't do but we're already starting to lose a little bit of traction there so let's start doing that and see already we got our vampire back i'm gonna level up boreas again uh, and we got 40 seconds so hopefully we can hold on for another 33 seconds and go into the next boss and do pretty well we need to get into the later stages this deck does way better in later stages because the waves are shorter so you don't have to hold on for as long we're not going to kill anybody faster than anyone else but we may be able to slow everybody down so that um his boss is always going to hit first so hopefully we can do that already they're getting to the the corner of our board a little bit scary but i think we're going to be okay He's got some nice high rank Boreas's over there. We got one second. Here we go. So we're probably going to go up against a 500, just under 500k Warlock. But between the slow and, and stun, hopefully we can take him out. He's going to take him out one time. Uh, no problem. Uh, I don't know who it got, but it took out my one Cold Mage. And that's not the end of the world. Um, and then we're just going to keep chugging along. We've got everybody at max right now. So I'm just going to hold out, build up some of my mana, and then I'm going to start switching and merging my rank 1 Boreas's, hoping to get rank 2's for literally anything else. We're in a really good spot to start merging people, because if I get a rank 2 anything, I can merge it out again and get a rank 3 something else. So dig in for high rank Boreas's. That's where we're at right now. Let's, let's make a merge right there. We got a chemist, so now we can merge out our, our tier 1 uh, chemists. We got bombardiers. We can merge it out. Another one. Another one, here we go. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the Vampire, another rank three. So that was that was some really good merging right there. And now I'm just gonna sit, we're gonna hang out. 
Uh, it's important to have more than one high rank cold mage on the board at a time because the more cold mages you have, the more units they hit. Uh, it's not just high rank, high level. It's also in numbers, high abundance. So this is pretty good. We got 50 seconds to hold on for a Gorgon. We're killing him pretty fast, maybe about the same as the other guy, but we definitely have more slow and stun than he does on the board. So I'm gonna sit pretty. I can definitely combine out some rank one Boruses if I wanted to. I'll probably do it either after the boss or during the boss. As of right now, I don't wanna switch anybody around. We got 30 seconds. And with how slow the monsters are right now, there's almost no way that they'd be able to make it to our to the end of our board okay so that's what i'm kind of banking on um we got 15 seconds right so there's nothing there's nothing he can do he's not going to make it to the end of a board but we are going to have to take out a pretty healthy gorgon he definitely had his lunch he had his his nutrients this morning his wheaties so hopefully we can take him out he's going to be nice and slow for us nice and fat slow and stunned that's the that's the combo he's almost a million but let's start chugging away. We got him under 900. We got him under 800. He's taking him out pretty quickly, definitely faster than us. But hopefully we are able to kill him. So he's gotten his under 200 now. Ours is at about 400. I probably don't need to commentate all of this. But he did kill his. And, uh, and I think we're going to be able to kill it too. So I'm going to combine out my rank 1 Boreas's and just see what we can do here. We got a rank 2. That's nice. I'm going to fill the board as soon as I can. We got Bedlam coming up. That's not a problem. We got another rank 1. Let's combine those also. We got another uh, Cold Mage. I'm going to combine a couple of those out. We got another rank 3 and another Boreas. And now we're going to sit on this. So now the waves are already getting shorter, right? So we got 45 seconds until Bedlam. And we are slowing everybody down stunning everybody and hopefully he's just going to run out of damage and run out of time and the, the monsters are going to get to the board um it's honestly pretty normal with this deck that uh i actually end up taking a hit with most bosses and then the next wave or the wave after the boss after that one of the monsters the waves or whatever they ended up getting to the end of his board and i still end up winning even though i took a hit from one of the monsters in early waves so Hopefully we can just keep holding on. We've got two rank one Boreas's I can switch, but at this point, it doesn't really matter that much just because Bedlam's coming up anyway. So we got three seconds. They're making it to the end of his board, but he's not gonna lose right now. Um, that's for sure. And we're both taking out a million, I think. Yeah, we're both taking out a million. So hopefully Bedlam messes him up pretty bad. That's a pretty, that looks like a pretty good switch for him. Um, I'm not too worried about our switches, to be honest. I'm not gonna really do much. Um, but I think he's going to take a hit. I'm hoping he can take a hit. I'm assuming we're going to take a hit too. But then either the next wave of monsters or the next wave of a boss will hopefully make it to his side of the map first. And then we end up winning. So that's that's kind of how we try to win in this deck. It's definitely cheese, but it's pretty funny. So he's making so many switches during Bedlam. And I don't think he's going to have any mana to keep switching. And look at what his board looks like. He has three... Uh, Boreas is at high ranks, granted, but he's got four vampires, two of which are at really high ranks too. My board is just kind of even. I'm going to make the switches that I want to make after I take a hit. So we've got 850 that we got him down to. Let's start making switches now. We got a Boreas there. We got a Cold Mage there. We got Tribunal coming up. Spam the boar. We got another Cold Mage. Uh, let's combine out vampires. Another Cold Mage. And at this point, we've got plenty of slow, plenty of stun. I'm thinking that this game is pretty much over and hopefully the monsters make it to his side of the board before they make it to mine, which I think is a pretty good chance because everything on my side of the board is nice and slow, nice and fat, stunned and slow. That's the combo. That's the quote of the quote of the video, but here they go. They get there. Boom. That is a victory. Finally, uh, a victory without, well, we didn't play against Shaman and that's pretty much why it's a victory. Um, but yeah, that was, I mean, that was already 10 minutes. I think the other the other video is is uh, is like six seven minutes or something like that. So I'm actually gonna just throw that on that game. I mean, with this deck especially, the games take really really long. So at this point, I'm gonna show you the game that you guys have all been waiting for right now. What is going on, my guys? We're back, and this is the video I wanted to show you guys. You see it up on the screen. I am playing against my brother-in-law right now. 
Uh, he's actually been in another one of my videos, but I didn't even realize it. I didn't notice that it was him. And uh, I, he, he went through an entire video of me talking about his deck, talking about the other player, and I never it never dawned on me that it's him playing. So he was spamming me with emotes in the very beginning. So I would notice, you see it there, he's giving me the thumbs up, I'm giving the, him the angry eyes. He, uh, he's actually further along in the game than I am. I, I did get him out of the game, but uh, he's up at like 6,200 or something, or he, that's his trophy high. He might have dropped a little bit. But we're playing against my brother-in-law, and you can see he's running Vampire, Boreas, uh, Dryad, as well as Inquisitor, and Demon Hunter. So he told me himself that I, I had to call him after the video and just talk to him because it was so funny. It's really cool how this game, it's such a small, tight-knit community that you actually play against people all the time that uh, that you know, or like, I play against subscribers all the time, I play against other YouTubers all the time, I've played against him twice now. Um, but he told me himself he's running, he's trying out different decks. He's, 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 uh, he's lost a little bit, he's come up and down, just like everybody else, but look at us spamming out. And you can see I'm running my cold deck that I was just showing you guys. Um, but he's got the Demon Hunter in there, and right away after this video, I was like, dude, take the Demon Hunter out. It stinks. Uh, I wish more than anything that I, it was good, but it stinks. Uh, throw in, you know, Bombardier, throw in, like, anything else, and your deck would be legit. Cold Mage is really good with Inquisitor. Uh, he doesn't have Harley Quinn, but... But you can see, it's pretty easy and even. We got Tribunal coming up, so I was trying to keep my board relatively tight and, and small and you know everything like that so spamming the board right there after tribunal we're trying to take him out we've got four um or three boreuses and then a couple of different other troops but we're trying to get through a 30k looks like we're going to be okay but as soon as i see that i'm playing against somebody interesting i try to throw on the record as soon as possible that's why one of the reasons another update that they had or another part of the update was that they um, increased it to six disconnections rather than the three that they had, which is massive because when I screen record it, uh, it, it counts as a disconnection. And sometimes I even like flip up on my phone by accident and it disconnects it there too. So I've had a few unfortunate uh, uh, experiences with the disconnections with only three that get us out. But uh, with the four, with the six, sorry, not the four, with the six, haven't had a problem. So here we go. We're trying to go, trying to beat our brother and uh and so far so good we still don't have that many boreuses and his four inquisitors are going ham so it's such a tough deck to beat especially with boreas it's really good the only thing that's that's holding on is that he, he has demon hunter which is doing pretty much nothing he was actually telling me his uh his strategy with the demon hunter you want to keep it he wants to keep it at rank two because then i think it has increased um fire rate as well as damage maybe or something like that i gotta look back up on what demon hunter does but i always thought get it to at least rank three so then it hits multiple targets but i guess that's not actually good um but clearly i don't know everything but you can see it's 30 seconds and i'm holding on for dear life as you do with this deck and uh i was like man i'm literally gonna lose to my brother who i put onto this game he already has more trophies than me but uh, we got 18 seconds. The only thing that saves us is that cold mages slow everybody down. So hopefully we can hold on. Dude, we got 10 seconds. This is the end of the game. We're just about to lose. We got seven seconds, five seconds. We hold on a little bit better and we actually made it to tribunal, which is amazing. I, I can't believe we're still holding on, but he's only got four. He messes up right there. He's gotten two. Now he's down to one, back up the two. This is what you guys tell me about Inquisitor and why it's so tough to play, is that it's really hard to get four, one, or nine on the map throughout the game and keep it there because you want to keep getting more people on the map. I know I would have a tough time playing it because um, I don't have Harley Quinn for one, but um, I like to fill the board. But you can see we're trying to take out Tribunal. We got 200 to take out. We're getting him down to 150, but he's getting to the corner. Tribunal is such a bugger because it sprints forward like that we got it down to 60 50 30 28 it was at like 2k hp and we took a freaking hit he's hitting me with a thumbs up i'm doing a cry face because really really like 2 hp 2k hp but okay we know that this deck is for the long game so hopefully we can just hold on and again, he messes up here. Or maybe it's not even a mess up, but unfortunately, he's now got two Inquisitors on the map. 
So I don't know if I spam an emote at him or what, or what, but I'm like, dude, you got only, you only got two on the board. You're in trouble. Look at, he's starting to lose traction right now, and he doesn't have anything that goes with his Inquisitors to slow down his units. That's really the only thing that his deck is losing. But he's up over 6k, so, you know, I, he, he shouldn't listen to me. I, he knows better than I do. Um, but our board is looking pretty good. We've got almost everybody maxed out there, except for the Bombardier. And our Cold Mages are doing work. We've got a bunch of Boreas's, we've got a bunch of everything else, we got a vampire spamming, whatever. We did get everybody to max right there, but he's got 20 seconds to try and hold on, and he's got two Inquisitors, so it's they're getting right to the end of his board. Right there, he's got 10 seconds to hold on. I hit him with that GG, and that is a victory against my bro. You can see right there, he's at more trophies than me. I was at 5809. I think I've dropped a bit since that the other video that you guys just watched. But he's got a 55% win rate, so that's pretty sweet. I think the Demon Hunter switched that out, put something else in, and he he probably would kick my ass. But uh, but that's not what he had in this deck, so we actually ended up getting a victory. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed. Uh, pretty funny video, uh, and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like comment, subscribe, and I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.